Let's say that you've got this form that is asking for the first and last name. Then there's a couple of slots to fill in, in this case the first name and last name, but you should also think about how you're going to ask the user for this information. You don't have to write a personal message on every query, but it does help to think about what you're asking and that you're making sure that you're asking it clearly. Raza has a couple of customization options when you're asking for things in a form. In general, Raza will try to trigger an action. It will trigger the utter ask and then the name of the slot that you're trying to fill in. You can see two examples of these below over here. You can clearly see the name of the slot that I'm trying to fill in here. If you had multiple forms and you wanted to customize it even further, what you can also do is you can utter, ask, and then also include the form name to be more specific. This way, you can have a different way of asking for a slot depending on the form that the user is in. And just to give a small demo that this actually works, let's for the first name ask what is your name there, and let's keep the ask last name intact below here. So I can trigger the form by typing give name. What is your first name there? I can say Vincent. And let's also as a last name say Vincent. Okay, so, so far so good. But maybe we would like to customize what we're doing here even further. Maybe we want to ask this question more dynamically. And for that, we can use a custom action. The custom action does need to have a specific name though, and it's similar to what we saw before. The name of the action needs to be action underscore ask, and then the slot name. Also here, if you're so inclined, you can also customize it per form, followed again by the slot name. Just as a small demo, I am going to go ahead and implement this variant over here. So in my actions.py file, what I have done, I have an action called ask for a slot action over here that inherits from the standard Raza SDK action class. And I have the appropriate name set. Action ask last name. Now all the logic is still handled inside of this run method. And what I'm doing is I'm first grabbing the first name which is a slot that should already be set the moment the last name is being asked. And that means that I can rephrase my question. So, whatever the first name is, what is your last name? If I want this action to be properly triggered in my form, there are still two things I have to check, of course. First of all, I have to check that my endpoints.yaml file is configured such that the custom action can run but I should also make some changes to my domain.yaml file. For good measure, it makes sense to remove the old utter ask question. And one thing I need to pay close attention to is that I don't forget to add the custom action I just made here in my actions list in the domain.yaml file. With these things set, I should be able to run my custom action server, and I can also retrain and run the shell again to show that all this works. Now that everything is set up, let's give it one more spin. Give name, my first name is Vincent. So Vincent, what's your last name? There we go. We are able to ask custom questions as we design our form.